Well, thought I'd bring you along for the journey of um, saving my hearing on this old Cavalier. Um, I'm pretty cheap, so we're going to see if I can replace the muffler on this thing. It's got like a six inch hole in it. I can't stand it. Um, so we got ourselves the, the finest quality that uh, Rock Auto can provide, and that's going to go on here. So far, everything's looking pretty positive. Um, this guy's two inches. And the fine folks uh, who designed this muffler, it should just slide right on. So it's probably more difficult than that, but we'll see what happens. I think the key here is going to be don't panic. Uh, I've got my fire extinguisher because we're going to be doing some cutting. So yeah, let's get into it. Son of a diddly. Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, should go the other way. Uh, tip on the outside. Or it's going to force a bunch of moisture to sit in the muffler and rust out even faster. Hmm. Well, here's the rot. Uh, this one ain't doing anybody any good. Well, son of a diddly, that's not going to work. I guess we'll have to cut and turn it. It doesn't even clamp that good either, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Goodness. First weld in seven years. <laughs> yeah, listen to that thing purr, nice and quiet. Excellent. Hardly hear it. That's what we're going for. And most importantly, no leaks. Otherwise, I'd see some smoke coming out. Here we go. Behold the glory of the budget muffler replacement job. Yeah. It's on. It's in. It will muffle. I'm happy. 
Uh, I use the welder, but uh, you definitely don't need one. You could use these uh, muffler clamps. I chose the welder on, but uh, we'll see whether or not that was a good decision in 10,000 kilometers. Thanks for watching.